All right, many people have asked me, who is this Father Hess? Well, uh, Father Hess was born in Vienna, Austria in 1953, and Father Hess went to Rome in 1976 to study for the priesthood. In those days, I still believed that it was possible to live within the conciliar church, or as John Paul II calls it, the Church of the New Advent. I found out to the contrary later. I was ordained in St. Peter's Basilica, the 21st of November, 1981, which accounts for the violet buttons and the violet sash in my dress. I'm not a Monsignor, but in uh, 1635, uh, the good Pope Urban VIII, Barberini, gave the privilege to the Basilica of St. Peter's in Rome that whosoever was ordained within that same Basilica enjoyed all the privileges of a Monsignor except the title. Uh, I thank Pope Urban VIII for that. And uh, in uh, 1991, I went back to Vienna, Austria, after 15 years in Rome. I was indeed secretary, the private secretary, to Cardinal Stickler between 1986 and 1988. In 1988, we both were retired. He because of age, me because of orthodoxy. And, uh, well, here I am, and uh, I returned to the true authentic Catholic Church around the year 1991 and when I decided to forget modernisms and to fight them for the rest of my life. Now in my speech today I'm going to criticize the Pope and I will reject some of his teachings but I do not reject his teaching authority as long as he is Pope he enjoys the teaching authority and he also has what you call the imperium he has the right to command. He is our supreme commander. Now the distinctions. Objective, subjective. Most people confuse that. Material, formal. They confuse that too. And they don't know what act and potency means. I will explain all of it. I've already taken one of the uh, one of the uh, distinctions we're talking about valid validity and lisaity. Now, uh, objective, subjective. See, I'm pronouncing today, I'm pronouncing judgment on the Pope, on the present Pope. Do I pronounce judgment on his person? No. And whoever dares to say that I pronounce a personal judgment on the present Pope is guilty of the sin of slander. I do not judge the person of John Paul II, the person of Karl Wojtyla, period. I have absolutely no way of being able to look into his interior. De internis ecclesia non judicat, the church does not judge internal things. I refuse to give any speculative answer to the question if this pope doesn't know better, better or wants to destroy the church. I'm not interested. I don't care if this present pope wants to destroy the church or if he is just naive or, and doesn't know what he's doing. I don't care. I'm looking at results. I'm not judging the person. I'm not judging any person. I'm also not judging the person of Leo XIII, whom I love very much. But I'm not judging his person. I believe he's in heaven. But that's of no consequence to what we're talking about here. I am pronouncing objective judgment. Objective means looking at the object, at the reality of things. Subjective means looking at the subject, at the person. See, this is the reason why we are not allowed to pronounce personal judgments. We do not know what is going on the inside and in the conscience of another person. That is subjective. A judgment we are not allowed to make. But objectively, we can judge facts, quotations, and actions. 